Former Vice President Joe Biden says wearing a mask should be seen as patriotic. It's a word he used at a town hall last night. He says he's glad that President Trump appears to be recovering, but he also said the president does bear some responsibility for getting sick in the first place. And he blasted Mr. Trump for the message that he's sending to others. Ed O'Keefe has more on this part of the story from Washington. Speaking to South Florida voters last night, Joe Biden once again sent best wishes to the first family, but said he isn't surprised by the president's illness. Anybody who contracts the virus by essentially saying masks don't matter, social distancing doesn't matter, I think is, is, is responsible for what happens to them. Shortly after the president took off his mask while re-entering the White House, Biden implored Americans to keep them on. Now, what is this macho thing? I'm not going to wear a mask. What's the deal here? Big deal. Does it hurt you? Be patriotic, for God's sake. Take care of yourself, but take care of your neighbors. What's at stake here is the president. The former vice president said he isn't worried about contracting the virus despite being in the same room as Mr. Trump a week ago. No, because, look, I've been fastidious about the social distancing. I've been fastidious about wearing a mask when I'm not socially distanced, and even then re remaining socially distanced. And so we never got closer than you and I do are right now. Earlier in the day, his wife Jill had to step in to remind him to keep a social distance from reporters. I'm sorry. In his first visit to South Florida since becoming the Democratic presidential nominee, Biden also visited the Little Haiti and Little Havana neighborhoods, hoping to increase black and Latino support. And he said he's ready to debate the president again if doctors say it's safe to do so, but admitted their first meeting didn't go as he'd hoped. I think it was embarrassing for the nation to see the president of the United States just hectoring like he did. Now, remember, there is another debate tomorrow night between Vice President Mike Pence and Biden running mate California Senator Kamala Harris. The Commission on Presidential Debates say they will be divided 12 feet, 3 inches, and with plexiglass dividing them as a precaution. Meanwhile, President Trump and the Biden campaign say they're preparing for the October 15th debate in Miami. But, Anthony, we expect negotiations over exactly how that will happen to continue in the coming days. All right, Ed, thank you.